Good morning. Good morning, Facebook. Hello, my gorgeous coaches. How are you doing this morning? Um, it's just coming up to half eight. Um, as always, I'm pumped. Um, but I just wanted to come in here and share something that was just <clears throat> so exciting for me to um, be a part of. Um, and also just to kind of talk to you about what makes your genius power, where your genius power is, and how is it so. So, hey, Mira, good to see you. Um, so, <clears throat> what I want to share with you is a bit of a story that occurred yesterday. Hey, Mira. <laughs> Thank you for the hearts, honey. Um, and this story is about a client who came onto a call with me yesterday um, and she kind of prefaced the call right up front saying, I'm going to cry. I'm not in a good place. So it was okay. All right. So, you know, get the tissues. It's okay. Tears are healing. Um, and we had a conversation and basically in a nutshell, she's kind of spiraling down one of those rabbit holes of, um, what if this doesn't work and I'm frightened and I've put so much into it and so much investment and I'm not getting the support from my loved ones. And what if, what if, what if, and spiraling down that rabbit hole. Um, and so we had a conversation and during that conversation, we uncovered a humongous block that has had her spinning her wheels, running around like a crazy lady, not getting the results she wants. But this, this uncovering was an unconscious belief or a, a submerged so beneath the surface that it was affecting her frequency and she was attracting in anything and everything that matched that frequency. So keeping her in this, this stuck place. What she, what she was attracting was, wasn't bad, but it wasn't the level she wanted to be at. It wasn't kind of the breakthrough results that she wanted to create. So we uncovered this. So by the end of the call, she was in this new state of possibility. It was like eyes wide open. Suddenly it was kind of, oh my God, this, this feels big. And I knew, I knew it was big uncovering something like that having awareness to what is blocking us honestly guys is so so important so powerful so she felt good we ended the call i was excited she's opened up a bit more she's starting to sense ah oh, i get it i get it i see the block i see how i've manifested i see now how i can move past this there was a big release of resistance during that hour four or five hours later this woman messages me this amazing lady messages me to tell me that something that she has been wanting for 18 months now and she didn't know how she was going to get it and the money was was being allocated for other things and not for this thing she wanted this thing that she's been wanting for the last 18 months landed in her lap within hours of releasing some of this resistance, uncovering this block, opening up her mind to a different state of possibility, shifting her focus from the what if spiral downhill rabbit hole type of thinking, shifting her focus. The moment that happened, she was allowing in the thing she wants. And this incredible gift landed in her lap in the form of a phone call, in the form of an offer, that she could never have anticipated or predicted. So this is why I stay out of the how. She could never have known that this, this thing she's been wanting for 18 months could have come to her the way it did. Incredible, incredible. And that came from uncovering a block, releasing the resistance, getting her, her focus straight. So that story it happens all the time. I see it all the time. That's why within kind of an hour of that conversation or during the hour of that conversation, I got so excited because I know what it means. I know what it means when you have this breakthrough insight, this clarity and awareness in what the subconscious belief is and enables you to move through it. I know how this shit works and it is exciting. So what I want to talk to you about is what is this genius power that you have? Where is it and what makes it so powerful? How is it so? The genius power is kind of twofold, but you have it 
within you and you can shift and change your experience, your reality in a heartbeat. Now, the twofold nature of this is the first thing is the power of your imagination. The power of your imagination. That is your genius power. The ability to imagine what it is you want, to see it in its fine detail, to train your body or, or to trick your body almost to believing that you have already you are already experiencing that which you are imagining you know it is proven time and time again science has proven research has proven that our imagination is so powerful i think it was einstein that called it your genius power um Einstein knew the power of your imagination but basically it's been proven that because our our mind has one major flaw, one major flaw that we can totally harness for our benefit. And the one major flaw that our brain has or our mind has is that it cannot tell the difference between what is real and what is imagined. It can't tell the difference. It doesn't know. So, you know, the proof of this is when you're having a nightmare. When you're having a nightmare, your physiology changes in response to what's going on in your mind you might sweat you're shaking you're on you know you're high alert your blood vessels constrict and all the blood rushes out you know away from your skin you're shaking you know you are in your muscles might tense up you're ready ready for fight or flight because you are having a nightmare what is a nightmare it's just you using your imagination but your whole phys physiology shifts in accordance with whatever it is you're dreaming about whatever that nightmare is so same with they did some research on some athletes downhill elite skiers and they asked these skiers just to imagine just imagine skiing that that race skiing that slope and they wired these these skiers up to all this machinery and they tracked the muscle fibers firing off in exactly the same way that they would fire off if they were actually skiing on that slope so this is the power that the floor in your mind that is actually your genius power it's the ability to use your imagination and trick your brain trick your body your physiology to actually experience that experience so the imagination is your genius power where is it? Where is your genius power? Where is it? <laughs> it's not actually in your brain or in your mind. Where it is, is it's in the here and the now. The here and the now. And this two-pronged genius power that I mentioned is your imagination, but your ability to decide, your ability to choose what you focus on, how you use that imagination. So in the here and now, if you were just simply to sit in the here and now, what is it that you have any worry about? What is it that is going on? Nothing really. You are safe, you are secure, you are comfortable in, right now in the here and now. But you have a decision, you have a choice, should I say, on what you want to focus on, what you decide to focus on. Whether you decide to focus on, I'm so busy, I'm overwhelmed. My money's running out. I'm not earning anything. There's no clients coming in. You can choose to focus on that and evoke the law of attraction. We're always at the law of attraction is never not working. So I use those words loosely, but the law of attraction states like attracts like. So if you're focused on lack, if you're focused on no clients, if you're focused on um, busy and overwhelmed and stressed out and and all the negative things, then you're going to attract just more things to feel busy about. You're going to attract like. You're going to attract anything that matches that frequency that you are currently on. But right here and now, you have the ability to switch your focus into a new direction and, and just close your eyes and imagine the full diary, the clients coming in, the money rolling in, the abundance, the love, the clarity, the time freedom anything and everything you want so your genius power is your your imagination and your ability to make a decision moment on what you're going to focus on it action is never not working it's never not working so whatever frequency you are emitting, you are drawing that back into you. 
anything that matches it. So you will always perpetuate your circumstances when you are looking at what is currently going on. And Abraham Hicks always talks about what is, whatever your results are right now, it's old news. She describes it as like being like gum that you've chewed the flavor out of. What you are looking at right now is old news. It's what you were giving off as a frequency yesterday, a week ago, a month ago. It's old news. So you can literally here and now choose to focus on what you want for tomorrow, the week after, the month after. It is in the here and now is exactly where your genius power is. So what, what makes it so? What makes your genius power of using your imagination, training your focus in the here and now, what makes it so powerful? Well, obviously, as I've just mentioned, the law of attraction. Like attracts like. Whatever you're looking at, what you're looking at evokes a response in you. Your brain, it triggers a thought in your brain, whether it's a default response or whether it's a, um, a, a conscious choosing of what you want to think about when you look at your results. Whatever, your results will trigger a thought process. The thought process triggers an emotion, whether it's good thoughts or negative thoughts. It doesn't matter. It will trigger an emotion and that emotion will emit a vibration vibration so you will attract that direct match in so when you're looking at what is you're perpetuating more of what is it is law so what makes using your genius power using your imagination deciding on what to focus on so powerful well law of attraction for one thing but also what it does is it raises your vibration so you start to feel good now because that's the that's the whole point of any of this is to feel good now because we believe that in the having of whatever it is we want it will make us feel better it will make us feel happy it will make us feel safe it will make us feel secure it will make us feel successful and good that's what we, that's all we ever want to feel so we've got to feel that now and train our focus to start feeling that now so get into the vibe the place of what you want to feel doing it now by using your imagination and what that does is it creates structural tension in your brain. This is the science bit, <laughs> the biological science bit. But it creates structural tension in your brain because your brain is looking at, oh, hang on a minute, we're, we're looking at one reality and then we're looking at something else and there's a, there's a dissonance between the two. So this creates structural tension in your brain and your brain will do everything possible to reduce the structural tension. It doesn't want structural tension. Two ways your brain will operate in order to do that. One, the ego will creep in and start talking you out of what, you, what you're focusing on, what you want. Talk you out of it and move you back to reduce the structural tension. Move you back to the here and now where you're comfortable, where, it, where it's not not a nice place to be but it's familiar or if you focus on what you want for long enough the brain reverts to the other alternative which is to start working on how to achieve that reducing the st structural tension by working on how to achieve that so what happens is literally your brain waves they light up like a pinball machine you switch on your reticular your your reticular activating system your ras which acts like an antenna to everything that matches what you want so it will look at, notice suddenly you'll start noticing the resources the conversations you'll start hearing you'll start seeing books on your shelf that have always been there but you'll have a compulsion to pull it out and open to a page that has the exact information that you need you'll notice newspaper articles ads in your facebook feed that all help you and are a match to helping you achieve what it is you want to help you move towards your goals so you're literally you're switching on an antenna what it also does to reduce the structural tension is your brain becomes more open to possibility and opportunity around you it's the same thing but just worded slightly differently but you become more open and when you become more open you're open to ideas you're open to inspired downloads Thoughts are manifestations. So you'll start receiving the thoughts that will light you up and, and, and enable you to think, I never thought of that. It's so obvious. I could do that. And that will take me closer to my goal. What, also, what it also does is stepping into your genius power in the here and now, using your imagination, choosing where you're going to focus. What that also does, as I mentioned, is it makes you feel good. 
And what does making you feel good do? Well, you have less stress, you don't feel stressed. And when you are not stressed, the blood rushes to the front of your brain. You've got a ton of oxygen going to the front of your brain, which is your most sophisticated part of your mechanics in there, in your, in your head. And when the blood and oxygen rushes to that part of your brain, you become a clear thinker. There's no confusion. You get it. You, you catch on to things quickly. You can see step by step with clarity. You feel more confident. You have more, more self-awareness. And all of that is about unleashing your genius power, harnessing what you already have within you. There is nothing you cannot be, do or have. If you can imagine it, you can be, do or have it. But it's just about focusing. You have a choice. Every moment to moment, you have a choice. So that felt a bit like a, <laughs> a Friday rant, but this is so powerful, guys. And yesterday's experience with my client was just, you know, testament to that. Exactly the same situation last week. I, I worked with a client. She, she found this block that was keeping her value low, her sense of self-value very, very low. And it had nothing to do with her business. It was affecting her business. She wasn't earning the income she wanted. And when we explored, we realized that she had this, her self-value in her family was on the floor. But she put herself bottom rung of the ladder. And when she was doing that, it equated to a voice in her head saying, I'm not important, which equates to, I have no value. And that frequency of I have no value was affecting her business and she was attracting people that didn't see her value. So she was attracting all the I can't afford you's. And I know I've said that a few times this week and shared that story, but it's so important to understand that what you are, what you are telling yourself, what embedded commands you're giving yourself moment to moment is rippling out there, drawing in an exact match, perpetuating the situation and not moving you forward in the direction of everything you want. So guys, sending you a ton of love. I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you've got questions or comments, put them below. I would love to hear from you. Um, I am opening the doors. Or I have opened the doors to my signature group coaching program, which is called Build Like a Boss Academy. I'm so excited about bringing more of this stuff to the women in that community when it opens the doors will it will we will go live on the 11th of september so i'm taking an enrollment for that now enrolling amazing ladies in there as we speak um so if you're interested in in learning how to harness your genius power and effectively market your coaching business so you can attract more clients and start making the money that you want to make, then please click on the link, check it out, book a call with me. Let's have a conversation and see if we're a great fit. So sending you a ton of love. Have a great weekend, guys, and I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye for now.